you know, it's also inspiring to hear the many successes that our students have had and also the many contributions uh, and successes our alumni have had in business, education, and society in general. The students wrote down in this ribbon what they hoped to do while they were here. And then the orientation leaders had these bars taken apart from the thing and they walked around, this is all in the student union, and the students tied their ribbons to the bars and that thing and we reassembled it. And so there you can see the orientation leaders with all those ribbons tied to it. Those are all the opportunity aspirations of this year's freshman class. If you're looking for the right sorority for you or your, your student is looking for the right sorority for them, definitely encourage them to go to the tabling events. If uh, any of you are interested in not being a part of Greek life, I, I haven't been a part of Greek life for the past four years. And I've been plenty involved and plenty happy as well. Um, so Greek life is definitely for a lot of people and for those of you that it's not to, I'd love to talk to you about this. Um, as more students are kind of looking to move off campus, my position was created in order to assist students in the process of trying to find um, off-campus accommodations. I'm a resource to students. We have an online database of listings that are available to students that are offered by local landlords in the area. My personal philosophy in life is I always been independent and I try to teach my students to be self-reliant as well because when they graduate that's what they have to face. The faculty in the Common Studies Department has actually developed a list of suggested guidelines for how students might approach an instructor with a grade problem or a more sensitive issue. This is the reason why I really enjoy social media. All cons aside, I think there are a lot of really cool pros. Managing your identity connects you with key players. Using social media and leveraging it to brand yourself and possibly using it to connect with employers. I uh, found an internship through word of mouth, actually. And uh, by the time I was a junior, I <clears throat> just interned there in 2005 at Marshall Reddick Real Estate Network. And I mean, I still work there eight years later. Without that, yeah, I don't know where I'd be after, you know, without the internships. Definitely <laughs> take advantage of finding an internship, whether it's over the summer, whether it's over the winter <laughs> term, and just really, you know, just kind of going above and beyond and just being present, letting them know that you are there because you want to be there.